Hello everybody. I am very happy to see you again. In this video I am gonna describe you that how I can implement grid view inside a grid view. We called it nested grid view. You know that uh, if you are making or if you are working on a project then uh, you usually find this kind of situation where you have to implement a grid view inside a grid view. So let's see that how we can implement this. It's a very easy task, it's not a tough task in ASP.NET because ASP.NET provides some fa facilities like functionalities or some classes by which you can implement this very easily. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, I'm going to create a web page that is WebSoft Nested Grid View. This is my web page name click on add button okay so I have created two tables that is first one is category table and second one is services table so by using two tables I will implement nested grid view here in category table we have two columns that is category ID and category name in category D, category ID I have ID 1 and 2 in services table I have create a relationship between uh, category and services where category ID is the primary key and uh, cat ID this is a foreign key for the services table so it means that uh, whatever data is available in category ID it should be display on in category ID in a foreign key table also so at uh, first category ID I have created two rows that is ASP.NET and PHP at second category ID I have uh, four rows that is PHP development Oracle ASP.NET and software testing so let's see that how we can implement this uh, nested grid view implementation okay first of all I will take a grid view control this is my first grid view control by using the auto format I can change the layout of this grid view I have to set some properties also like uh, auto generate columns I will make it false and uh, it have a event that is a uh, row data bound event this event is occur when grid view is getting data from the your query it means that when a data will wind this event will be execute so in this event I am writing some code over here okay by using uh, this grid view I will uh, set a property also auto generate column false so it means that I have to bind with my server controls so by using the edit columns you can create some template field template field this is the category ID you can write here category ID another time field is category name this is my another template field now in this template field I will take I will take a another grid view control so I can write here services the header text will be services right so there is no need to extra over here uh, okay so we have three columns that is category ID category name and services now I will bind these columns with some values by using the label control so you have to click on edit template this is my first column item template I will take here a label control edit data binding and eval ID my field name is cat ID and cat name okay so I have to put here cat ID this is a category ID and uh, in another column I will take eval cat name this is my second field name so still we have seen that uh, I have implement two columns now I have a three third column that is services here I will take a grid view control I can change the format of this grid view control okay this is my 
grid view. I using this, right? So you can hide the header of this grid view control by using the show header property. By default, it is true. You can make it false. Now, I will retrieve the data in grid view one control. Actually, I have created two control but their uh, IDs are grid view 1 and grid view 2 this is the second grid view and this is my first grid view so here I will bind the grid view 1 control so to do that I have to call using system dot configuration this namespace will provide the class name configuration manager by which you can call the connection from the web dot config file so using system dot configuration and using system I want to explain one thing also that is I'm not taking a MBC architecture or uh, another uh, multiple data working because there is a reason behind it because I don't want to waste my time and uh, if I implement the MBC it, it will take time and your video will be long so if you want to know about the MBC architecture, the how to implement MBC architecture in ASP.NET, you can visit my previous videos where you will find that how we can work on MBC. So we will come on our topic that is using system dot data dot SQL client. Right? I will make a connection. SQL connection, new con SQL connection. I will call the configuration manager. Configuration manager will call the connection string from my. Actually, I have made this connection already in my web.config file. So there is no need to explain it again. If is post back. fill grid view 1 this is my method name I will write the definition of this method public void fill grid view 1 string as select a strict from category this is the table name where I will find category ID and category name then I will take SQL data adapter DA equals to new SQL data adapter I will assign my connection and uh, my command another thing is data table Uh, many person asking for that where to use data table or where to use a data set it is a very simple task if you are getting a, a single table from your SQL command then you will use data table but if you are uh, any SQL command is ret returning more than one table then you have to use data set actually data set is nothing it is a collection of data tables so here I need a single table that's why I am using here a DT1 or you can say data table I have to fill this data table by using da.fill method and uh, this uh, dt1 will be filled so I will bind my grid view 1 control with this data table it means that uh, grid view 1 control will retrieve data from the data table and to show your data I have to use data bind method ok so let's see the output that it is uh, implemented successfully or not it's taking too much time because it's uh, executing first time that's why it's taking but after after another execution it will uh, execute shortly So, in this output, 
we can see that category ID and category name is displayed but services are not displayed the main reason behind it because we uh, didn't wind the grid view second grid view control we, here we go let's see that how we can bind the second grid view control first of all I have to check that uh, I'm not getting the header or footer so to implement this we can write here e dot row dot just a minute row dot row type we have a property where it can find that what kind of row we are getting if it is not equals to e dot row dot sorry I have to use data control row type method or class data control so we have some properties that is data control row type dot data row then it will return false value okay but now I have to retrieve the category ID if I wa want to data from the services table so integer cat ID equals to to retrieve the value I can implement data key property it will return the key value of your so key value should be a primary value that is uh, that should be unique so category id my key value category id my key value so int dot parse so uh, what to do here first of all you have to make uh, another grid view control by using gr v2 this is my another sorry gr v2 this is my another grid view control by using the type casting you will find your another grid view control uh, row find control you will find a grid view 2 ok so grv2 my second grid view control here I will get the data category ID from grid view 1 control so let's see how we can do this I mean uh, I am writing this code there is no need to write it again I will explain it what's the mean of grid view 1 this is my first grid view data keys as I told you that I have created a data key value that is category ID and I have to find the e dot row index it will return the row index and it means that it will return first second third and fourth and value property will return the value of this key value so row ID this is my key value now I will write uh, another code that is select testic from or select services from surveys this is my another table services is my column name where uh, cat id this cat id is belong to services table this cat id ok cat id equals to plus row id ok now I have to take another data adapter control da2 equals to new sql data adapter here I will write I will pass 
my s2 command and my connection okay i can take another data table that is dt2 equals to new data table now da2 dot fill method dt2 and grv2 this is my second grid view control where i will write data source property should be dt2 grv2 dot data bind let's see okay so now we have a table another table data that is my service table as i told you that i have create some category id in the cat id my primary key and cat id in, uh, in services table was the foreign key and uh, here i don't we don't have a header because i show i first the show header property and uh, another thing so in this video you have seen that how we can create or a nested grid view and how to use that nested grid view is a very simple task there is no need to worry about that that if you want to implement more events in another or a child grid view you can implement very easily we have some other data controls and uh, by using the same pro properties and same events you can implement another nested uh, controls like uh, uh, data list control or repeater control or any other control thanks for watching this video in this video you have learned more thank you